Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Celebrity Cars. We're located in Las Vegas, 7770 Dean Martin Drive. You come check us out when you're here on vacation. 1986 AMG Hummer. Okay, now I'm telling you right now that this thing is really, really awesome. It's really pretty, but let me start with, uh, I don't know all the additions and customization that was done to this Hummer. Uh, there's a couple extra buttons in there that you would not normally find in an all original one. Um, looks to be an original engine in here. Uh, it runs really awesome. It's, so it's, uh, I've already driven it around, it runs terrific. But you're gonna find all the details on what's been done to this Hummer, Carfax, all those kinds of things at CelebrityCars.com. Find Hummer, you'll find this one. Uh, maybe you found the video first on YouTube and you wanna go to CelebrityCars.com. Celebrity Cars Las Vegas. Okay, so what am I doing here? I'm your uh, living, breathing, condition guy here. This is what I do uh, for Celebrity Cars. We go over every one of our vehicles. We've already done uh, about 250 of them in the last two years. And uh, this one's no different. And I kind of point out where dents might be or scratches or big gouges. On this particular vehicle, if I'm gonna pick out chips and nicks and stuff like that, uh, you know, not to say that that could take a while. It's just, you know, it's a Hummer. I, I believe it's been freshly painted. It's got some additional stuff on here that are pretty darn cool. Uh, there's only two latches to release the hood. Normally you've got, you know, the great big sucker up front here that you have to deal with as well. Uh, the, uh, the glass all seems to be fine. The top seems to be real good. Um, the doors, yep, they come off. Uh, do they match the, the Hummer? No, they do not. They are black. The rest of the body is more of a silver color, and uh, but I mean it matches really cool. I, it's uh, I, w I wouldn't change it. I certainly wouldn't put them back to silver. The tires all seem to be in good shape. The wheels are in really good shape. I believe all the directionals work. We're going to do that when we take it for a ride around the block to make sure that all these simple things work. <clears throat> the rear end of it looks good. The undercarriage for the most part looks pretty clean. Just a little bit of dust on some of the stuff that's down underneath there. Um, spare tires sitting here staring at us. It's not the same tire uh, as the ones on the vehicle. But um, uh, there seems to be, uh, you know, it looks like the, the top seems to have been around for quite a while. Are there any rips and tears in it? Not that I can see. Uh, you know, a little leftover dirt from playing in the, playing on the beach or up out in the woods. Um, but all these door latches work real good. Got some extra parts to share with you too later. Trickle charger and stuff. Okay. But uh, the interior, for the most part, all looks real nice. The seats are in good shape. Um, the speakers looks like uh, you definitely have got some additional speakers in here. Um, floor pans look good. Plenty of cup holders. Cup holders are very important to this group. <laughs> Come on out here, check out. Uh, we have all of its badging <clears throat> and uh, birth certificate information down here. Now, if you could just stay right there, uh, Jose, if you could just come right in here in between me and I'll, I'll leave my hand out of it because I know that screws with the focus. If you look here on the left, because this light is half decent right now, um, obviously this is a control panel that you wouldn't normally find in a Hummer. So, lots of additional options. Make sure you uh, go to celebritycars.com or give us a call so we can go through these buttons one by one with you if that's a big concern. And over on the right-hand side of the steering wheel, there are some additional buttons down there and they primarily focus from what I've understood is uh, the interior lighting. Let's get a little extra interior lighting in there and the rest of them are obviously for the lights outside. So, uh, aftermarket, not aftermarket, I just wanted to show you those buttons. They do stay illuminated. Um, that's uh, pretty, uh, we're, we're used to cars dying if anything stays illuminated, but this is a Hummer, so we understand. Uh, but anyway, this is this side. All, all of it looks terrific. You can barely see a nick or scratch when you're, you're getting in and out of it. Um, older restoration, newer restoration, I'm unsure. Uh, again, one of these things that you can find. 
at celebritycars.com. Yes, uh, latch is really good right there. Um, I'm gonna pull this apart. While I'm doing this, Jose, can you just kind of sort of spend a little bit of time with the paint as I pull this over? Just kind of hone in on it. You know, this area right here around this bolt. Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's a wishy-washy kind of sort of paint job, but it's a Hummer, so it's not, you know, it doesn't need to be show winning. Nobody cares. Um, this, this vehicle is built for other things. But, uh, you know, really cool skull on the hood. Releasing these two latches here. I believe I can do this by myself. I can't. Okay. Yeah, do you mind? Thank you. Oh, watch your fingers. One, two, and three. Great. Thank you. Perfect. Inside the engine bay here, uh, it's, um, it's not as clean as, uh, uh, as a you know, fully restored vehicle. It looks, and uh, I, we know it runs good. So uh, although aesthetically a little to be desired in the engine compartment, but uh, it's, again, it's a Hummer. And uh, again, we know it runs really good. And uh, we know a little background on this particular vehicle and it's pretty darn cool. Okay. All right, got this driver side latched in. They lock on really well. No extra fiddling around. It's all in good shape. I'm gonna open up the passenger side so you guys can get a real good look inside here as well. No funny smells inside this Hummer, everything. Uh, it's just uh, very structurally sound. All the rivets look good. There aren't any questionable locations. I don't see any rust. Let you see in the back seat. Looks like some gauges might have been changed around. So a uh, little extra set of a gauge back here. Just some extra parts that go along with oh, the trickle charger. Something to wrap them both up in. And there you have it. Of course, the gate comes down. It's a Hummer, folks. Let's go out for a quick ride and uh, make sure everything operates and it makes sense and uh, um, breaks good and all those things. And we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm in this uh, 1986 Hummer and I can see things a little more clearly in here because of the light and so on and so forth. Boy, you got cup holders for uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight drinks. There's a lot of drinking going on in here. Okay, um, really cool skull uh, for, your, uh, for your shifter knob, special park brake right here. Once again, we talked about all these lights. I have played with these lights, I have seen them on. Each one of these switches does work. It's pretty cool. Am I gonna tinker around with overdrive and high and low and all that stuff? Nope. You give us a call, we can talk about all that kind of stuff later if you have any questions. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the key. It's a diesel motor, so I'm gonna wait politely until this white light goes out for the coils. And it's out, here we go. My foot's on the brake. Engage drive and off we go. Check out the brakes. Three, two, and one at about 35 miles an hour. Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah, I didn't hit the brakes real hard, folks. Um, I, 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 I've driven this before. 
I know if I hit the brakes really hard, we're gonna stop really hard and fast, and we didn't need to do that. Brakes are wonderful on this, super straight. Back on the gas. Back on the gas. It's a Hummer. Okay, you know, it's, it's super smooth. There are no extra rattles. There isn't anything questionable about this, uh, about this vehicle at all. Uh, it's it's uh, not an upgraded six cylinder, uh, or I'm sorry, it's, it's not an upgraded uh, diesel motor in there, so uh, it's, it's, you're not gonna win any races with it, but it runs and drives really, really nicely. If you have any more questions about this 1986 Hummer, give us a call, 702-818-1031, uh, and we'd be happy to answer any of your questions. We'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.